Satan is about to be tossed into the abyss, a prison. He will be tossed into the abyss for 1,000 years and the Illuminati will lose all power and the earth will be cleansed of all unclean humans, almost. The ones who survive will be left in the wasteland. The ones who followed the perfect savior and started doing the weekly Sabbath celebration during the awakening will enter a 1,000 year party city. What is the weekly Sabbath? It is a day when we celebrate the perfect savior and his unbegotten heavenly father. It is the seventh day of the week. And the seventh day of the week is Saturday. Saturday is the seventh day of the week. Saturday is the seventh day of the week, not Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. Your church and your priest pastors, your church pastors and your church priest have been tricking you because we have been under a 400 year witchcraft spell and curse, which is in everyone's Bible. But you guys don't do your own research. We have all been following what we've been told instead of opening the book and doing our own research and using Google. Now that we have Google and YouTube, you can do your own research because we're in the awakening. So nobody has an excuse for be remaining ignorant. So the Sabbath is the fourth commandment in everyone's Bible and everyone's Quran and everyone's Judaism, Jewish religion book. So nobody has a reason to not be following their laws in their book. And that's over 6 billion people who are not doing the weekly Sabbath. Now there are some people in the um, Seventh Day Adventists, they do the weekly Sabbath, but they pray to Jesus and they are, I don't know exactly what they do, but at least they do the Sabbath. But they don't know the information in the Nag Hammadi, which is very important. You must use the Nag Hammadi with the Christian Illuminati Bible. So. The Sabbath is the fourth commandment in the Bible, in the Bible laws, and in the Ten Commandments, and it is six days of working and seven days no working. So let's get into what the Sabbath is and what superpowers you will get if you join the perfect Savior. The Sabbath is from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. You cannot cook, but you can warm up food that you have pre-made. So cook all your food before Friday sundown. And then on Friday night and on Saturday morning and Saturday lunchtime. And if the sun sets after 6 p.m. on Saturday night, Warm up all your food, warm up your breakfast, warm up your lunch or make a sandwich or make food that you can warm up for lunch on Saturday and warm up your early um, Saturday dinner in the microwave or in the oven. You just can't do any labor. It's a day of celebrating the perfect savior and unbegotten father, unbegotten heavenly father. You can listen to instrumental music. You can watch movies about the perfect savior, even if it's white Jesus. Listen to the message, because we don't have any movies or TV shows with the real black Hebrew king, Yahusha. So you have to use the movies and TV shows that are, that are out with the white Jesus and the 12 apostles, but listen to the message and then use that information or just read or listen to the Bible on YouTube. But there's plenty of movies about the Messiah on Netflix and on Amazon Prime, but you can also do research videos on YouTube. I totally, truly suggest you check out my YouTube channel for your research on the Sabbath. And I have lots of songs on there too that can inspire you and get you excited about walking in the light of the perfect savior. Now you can go on a picnic during the Sabbath, you can go out in nature during the Sabbath, but you gotta buy your gas ahead of time. Make sure you buy your gas ahead of time on Friday before sundown. Buy your food for your picnic and make your food for the picnic ahead of time before Friday sundown. 
celebrating the Sabbath should be something fun. It's not a boring thing. And then you will have the right to enter the 1,000 year party city. I love you and I hope you join the perfect savior and unbegotten heavenly father. One more thing I need to add. There's a lot of people who say we cannot use electricity during the Sabbath because we're not supposed to kindle a fire. Kindle a fire is meaning to make a fire to cook. You can use electricity during the Sabbath to warm up your food. How are you gonna do your research, Bible research, if you don't use your phone or use the computer to do research? How are you going to warm up your food that you pre-made? How are you gonna keep warm during the winter time? How are you going to see in the middle of the night if you need to go to the bathroom? So you have to use electricity, but use your electricity to do research about the perfect savior and how to follow his instructions and how to celebrate him. There are lots of fun things that you can do during the Sabbath. You can listen to instrumental music on YouTube. You can write lyrics or poetry to the instrumental music and make sure the lyrics and the poetry is about walking in the light and how the perfect savior's instructions inspire you because his, ins his words inspire you to be to practice goodness to seek insight and understanding and knowledge to practice self-control to learn how to be patient and tolerant to learn how to be moral and decent to learn how to practice brotherly kindness and love so you can write lyrics about that you can dance to instrumental music. You can listen to reggae music that's talking about slavery and walking in the light and love. And you can really enjoy the Sabbath celebration. Celebrate the light. <laughs>